Tomb Raider 2 starts out like any good Tomb Raider game by having you unbox 15 loot crates. Oh yeah, I bought the Super Duper Edition. What did I get? Endurance Mode Pack, awarded for downloading Endurance Mode. Oh dude, I got cards. I got five cards, that's crazy. Oh yes, I got Kane. I got Bloodlust. I got Rabbit, <laughs> Rabbit Malnutrition. <laughs> Recover Relics 3, Infection, Steel Info 4. Classic Chronicles catsuit. Oh my god, can I use that skin in the game? I better be able to. I want to be PS1 Lara Croft. We learn, we accept, and gradually we lose our capacity for wonder. No, I still have wonder. I'm wondering why there's a card game component to this game, for example. Lara Croft, you know what happens when you climb mountains. They blow up. Are you sure you want to blow up that mountain? It's a pretty nice mountain. I'd prefer if you kept it intact. All right, walk forward, Lara Croft. You gotta, like, fall down a mountain and lose all your gear. And there, there's no trees around here. There's no trees for you to craft a bow with. So I'm curious as to how you're gonna get a bow and arrow in this one. It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. I'll just uncharted climb up these ridges. What the? <laughs> when do I get the PS1 graphics? And more importantly, do they animate the mouth with the PS1 graphics, or does the mouth not move? I hope it doesn't move. Don't worry, Lara Croft. I played Cliffhanger many times. I can climb an ice wall. Rule number one is make sure to bring soap so you can catch you when you fall off the cliff. I'm noticing you didn't do that, so good luck. I'm surprised Google Earth didn't find that already. Must have been really snowy. Maybe the ruins were covered in snow all the time, so Google Earth is like, ah, that's just snow. There's no ruins there. Like, if it only saw the roofs, that would make sense. Hey, look, an ancient plane. There's always ancient planes in these games. Oh, maybe the bow and arrow's inside the ancient plane. That would make sense. Oh, nope, sorry, ancient plane. There's a zip line over here. I'm gonna leave the ancient plane behind. Two weeks early. Oh, we're flashing back to when she had the bow. Okay, she gets the bow in the past. That makes sense. Oh, God, time to walk around Dad's old belongings and hit X on various things, so I hit X on all of them. Oh, good, he's got a laptop, thank God. All his crucial information is probably on there. I don't gotta dig through boxes and look at photographs. Uh-oh, bad guy's here. He's here to save me from a boring investigation scene. Nice. Don't go down this road. You know where it leads. Yeah, to epic action and shotgun excitement. It leads to cool explosions and fun times. Welcome to the ancient desert. The Nazis have the Ark of the Covenant, and Lara Croft has to chase him down and punch him. Look out, tack helicopter. They're gonna blow us up. Is it, is it the rebels? That's what you get for coming to a desert environment, Lara Croft. You knew you were gonna get shot at by the rebels. That's just common knowledge for video games. I finally have a handgun. Here we go. Stop, don't get, get up off the rock. Come on. We're trying to shoot the handgun at something. There's birds over there. Can we kill them with the handgun? Come here. And kapow. Crap. The handgun is too inaccurate for hunting. Don't worry, I don't gotta shoot birds. I just gotta shoot bad guys. Test number one of is this game good? I'm gonna shoot this ceramic pot. Let's see it. All right, we got a good game on our hands. Explore the chamber of murals. Oh, here we go. Here, Here's where we walk around and hit X on stuff. You thought you could escape that gameplay? No way. Murals increase your language skill. Okay, I don't really want to increase my language skill. Does the language skill give you shotgun power-ups? I got to check the skill tree. If, if the language skill somehow levels up your shotgun, I guess I do care about language. Jump for it, Lara. Whoa. Nice jump. Now this thing's going to fall down. Whoa. Now jump for this. Whoa. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Dude, her falling down the- she falls so fast. Her falling down the cliff is hilarious every time. <laughs> time to enter the boss falling door. Hopefully it's not Ornstein and Smo. Actually, Ornstein and Smo would not be that hard with a handgun. A M1911 would really trivialize most of Dark Souls. There's a lot of skulls around this place. They, they put some skulls in very inconvenient locations for the sole purpose of spooky decorating. I like it. Because they, they didn't have Spirit Halloween back then. If you wanted a human skull, you couldn't get a plastic one for $2 from Walmart. It had to be a real human skull, that, like from a dead guy. Look, okay, another skull. Those skulls just chilled underwater. They put a skull underwater where nobody would ever see it. They were dedicated to the aesthetic. Yay, finally, some bad guys. Come on down, bad guys. My handgun would love to meet you. Who the hell are you? I think he's the bad guy, Laura. You're a smart woman. It was empty. When I got here, there was no body and definitely no artifact. You're lying. I know you hid it somewhere, but I don't know where. You don't have a backpack or anything. I think those pockets on your jeans are fake. There's really not anywhere she could have put it. She's probably telling the truth. Finally, combat. Yeah, kill him. Kill him good. Oh my god, I'm really bad at this. Oh, it's not my fault. Hang on, it was crumbling ruins. It was affecting my aim. If the divine source is hidden in the ruins of Katesh, waiting to be found, then I have to go. To Siberia? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I already went to Syria. I'm trying to go to every country that starts with an S. I have to visit Saudi Arabia, Samoa, Serbia, 
Sierra Leone, Singapore, Slovakia, Slovenia, Solomon Islands, Somalia, South Africa, South Korea. All right, back to Siberia. That was a fun diversion. Now we're gonna find out once and for all, how the heck did she get a bow? Oh, there is trees. Okay, there's like a forest on this mountainside. Okay, she'll, she'll be able to craft a bow, no problem. Achievement unlocked, quite a tumble. Yeah, it sure was. Achievement unlocked, you shot two henchmen so far in an hour of playing the game. In Tomb Raider 1, I killed at least 100 people at this point in the game. This, this game is definitely a lot less shooty based, which I don't like because I'm more I'm more of a shooty based gamer. I kind of want to get the shotgun. Walking through snow very slowly, literally trudging through snow is fun and everything, but I kind of like blowing things up with machine gun a little bit more. Oh, she built an entire Yoda hut <laughs> out of the one branch I picked up. Nice. She's very resourceful. Is this going to be a bow? Oh, it's going to be the bow. Yes. I did it, mommy. I crafted a bow out of the tree trunk. And now I'm gonna choose the PlayStation 1 skin. I opened a gosh darn PS1 skin in my loot crate. Can I not use it in the campaign? I have dumb Skyrim armor. Where's the PS1, Lara? I wanna be her. That skin is only available in a different game mode. This game sucks. Oh, we gotta make sure that Lara Croft's face animations are good for the whole game. No one cares. I want her to be bad graphics, it'd be funny. Hang on, there's there's gotta be somebody who modded that in, right? Okay, I figured it out, it took a few hours, but here it is. First you gotta go to Steam and then go into betas for Rise of the Tomb Raider and change it to version 770.1. Then you gotta go find the outfit unlocker table for Cheat Engine that was published on some random form in like 2016. And then you use said table to unlock a little costume like this. Ah, finally. Perfection. Man, PlayStation 1 Lara Croft looks really cold. I thought that um, PS4 Lara Croft with a jacket looked cold. I'm a big old bear. I'm gonna kill you, PS1. I think that Lara Croft PS1 could kill a bear. If the bear bit into her, the bear would like get cut in half. He would cut his jaw open on those polygons. It's really weird seeing a model this old have such fluid modern game movement. It's kind of like an uncanny valley effect going on over here. <laughs> oh, God. Lara Croft was awakened in the night. She was startled. You can tell by look on her face. Prepare to get drop assassinated by PS1 Lara Croft. Finish him off. Yeah. She used her razor sharp fist polygons to kill that guy in one hit. Hmm, is that guy dead? I can't tell. He looks dead to me. Bah. No, I'm dead too. Got more gift packs. Let's go. I love the giant card pack popping up in the middle of my game. Here at Tomb Raider, we believe in a very minimal UI to increase immersion, except for when we're trying to remind you to buy more card packs. There'll be a giant card pack icon on the screen. Please come and spend some money. My evil twin. <gasps> I'm not your this game has an evil Lara Croft. That's crazy. Oh, what's going on down there? Who? Ah, she did have Batman disappearance. She's probably standing right behind that rock. If you just check behind there, she's like crouched down in a ball. So supposedly, if you use the Angel of Darkness skin, which has a little bit better graphics, this one actually has face animations. So I'm gonna play with this one for a little bit and see. Is that a Lenin statue? Why are you guys worshiping Lenin up here in the Byzantine Empire mountain? Oh, it's an old Soviet base. Classic, that's that's classic adventure game. Who would have guessed that old Soviets had a base up here by the ancient artifact? It was either gonna be them or the Nazis. Ooh, revolver, I'll take that. It's no akimbo pistols, but it'll do for now. Oh no, a bad guy's gonna kill his own underling to prove he's bad guy. That's classic. That's bad guy 101. Who would still work for this guy after he gouged that dude's eyes out? Hey, he just uh, he just gouged Tom's eyes out. Are we sure we want to keep working for this guy? He seems like he's kind of evil. Hey, don't worry, man. I put goggles on. He can't gouge my eyes out. Poor guy who got his eyes gouged out by bad guy. Don't worry. I'll help you out. See, bad guys gouge the eye out, but good guys gouge the brain out. That's how you can tell who's the hero and who's the villain. Welcome to the weapon shop, Lara Croft. Here you can see a package. You can see a light bulb. You can see the shotgun and a G36, but you can't have those yet. You don't have enough coins for those. Go use the bow and arrow for a few more hours, then come back. That's enough. She doesn't know. Oh no, the evil mom is bad. You're with them! Yeah, she's wearing a black turtleneck, Lara Croft. Come on. Obviously, she's evil. I have to get back to a campfire. I have to re-equip my classic skin. I know what you're all after. The PS1 Lara Croft skin. I know how you can equip it during cutscenes. Okay, fine, I'll free you. You convince me. You talked me into it. This game is good because when you walk in front of the projector, your shadow blocks a projection. Lots of games don't have that. They took away my precious PS1 Lara, but they did put that feature in. Oh, I took his AK, nice. I think I got him. Yes, campfire, here we go. Back to the good skins. Let's use classic Chronicles cat suit. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> look how reflective it is. What is her ponytail doing? <laughs> Why is it just flopping around? 
it doesn't know how to behave in cutscenes. Tomb Raider 1 was set on Explosion Island. Tomb Raider 2 was set on Fire Mountain. Everything burns here, not blow. Oh, never mind. Things still explode for no reason. Where am I even? I'm missing like a, there's just like a giant wooden crap. What is this structure? It's just the Soviets made it, I guess. I hate the Soviets. They're responsible for 95% of shooter games. So I guess I love the Soviets, actually. They're my favorite. Yes, cutscene, let's see it. Let's see those lips move. Show the face, show the face, show the face, show the, no, her face, show her face talking. I still need some monsters. Eh, okay, the, the lips do move up and down. The lip sync's not too great, though. You should have left. Sophia, enough. Horizon Zero Dawn, you can't kill Lara Croft, sorry. I know you're jealous because she's got bow and arrow too, but don't shoot her. You are the one that came with Jacob. Uh-huh. I have something to ask of you. Nope, not doing it, not doing it. I'm running, I'm running. You won't catch me doing an optional quest. If these guys are descendants of the Byzantine Empire, why are they speaking English and American accents? Shouldn't they have their own language? Why do they sound like bros? Pump action shotgun, here we go. Finally, the game gets good. It took a while to give me the shotgun, but now I have it, now it's fun. It really is crazy how much better the shotgun makes it. The, the shotgun's a huge improvement. Makes the game so much better. Walter, put your divine source away, Walter. I'm not finding the ancient Byzantines, Walter. Oh, bird nest. <laughs> Die, nature. Give me your crafting mats. Did that outsider just shoot a baby bird with an AK-47? How many diseases does she have? Probably all the diseases. I mean, she just, she just like went up to an uncontacted tribe. So the, if she got coughed on, she'd probably die. Are these cabbages? I believe they are. Can I shotgun the cabbage to death? Let's find out. Yes, you can. Can I shotgun the cucumber crate? Yes, you can. Maybe I was wrong about this game. It is 90% climbing and cutscenes, but the, the fruits do blow up pretty convincingly. Take that, tomatoes. God, I love easy mode. I want, I want one of these games where you play as the bad guy. Like you just stop Nathan Drake. And he, he keeps showing up and saying Marvel dialogue at you. Then at the end, you kill him. That'd be, a, that'd be a satisfying game. That'd be good. This ancient cult should really have grabbed some guns from the Soviets, honestly. I get that they're like, they don't want to use technology, but they they could have grabbed some AK-47s. If their cult leader really is a Jesus analog, they should definitely be using guns. They should all have M16s. It should be American Jesus. American Jesus definitely wants you to use a gun. What is the divine source, Jacob? It's the source engine. You can use it to make games like Half-Life and Counter-Strike. It's incredibly powerful. Throw your grapple axe in the air. In the new Rise of the Tomb Raider game, we added a throwable grapple hook axe. So now the climbing is even more annoying to do because you gotta freaking throw the axe all the time. It looks kind of cool, but is it fun? No. Will Tomb Raider have the ledge assassinate? Oh, you know it does. Pull him into the water, yeah. Never gets old. Oh my God, they just used this building to store three red barrels. And a flammable lantern on top of the barrels. This this is a great building. Oh, it didn't blow the barrels up. Hang on. There we go. Distract with objects. Yeah, I know. You gave me that tutorial already. I ignored it on purpose, game. It's like, I can't help but notice you just killed the entire guard camp. Did you know you could sneak past them? Yeah, I know. I know I could have snuck past them, but I didn't. Kill an unarmed woman? That would be cold even for you, Lara. Not really. Shoot me, and my men will cut you down within seconds. It's the one thing they're better at than you. Not Shoot true. Them. That's not true. I killed like 300 of them so far. Reconsider my offer, Laura, before it's too late. Shooter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't think she was actually going to hit her. That was great. That's my reaction to every cutscene in this game so far. Oh no, Draugr. Here's how you deal with Draugr. Just give him one of those and they won't get up. Yes, I'm aware I missed. I'm aware that I missed the inanimate corpse. At last, I've found it. The D12. It. One of the most underused dice in D&D. Seriously, whatever rolls a d12, like nothing rolls d12s. Just another average day in the life of Lara Croft Tomb Raider. The entire ancient temple she came to study is on fire and blowing up after she killed 500 people with a shotgun. She's a really bad archaeologist. Wow, I can't believe there's ancient immortal warriors guarding this temple as well. What are the odds? The last tomb I raided also had those. And I have a feeling any tombs I raid in the future <laughs> might contain something similar. You look terrible. Whoa, dude, come on. It's the best we could do on PS1. We don't got that much RAM on that system. Well, I'll be damned. The D12. I didn't think these things existed. Now I can finally roll damage for my claw claw bite. Oh no, this guy died. I thought you were the immortal god. How'd he die? You're supposed to be Jesus. I think IGN gave this game like a nine. It's it's a, it's a perfectly average game, I'd say. It's not bad. It's not amazing. It's just fine. Less combat than the first one, though, so not as good. Not as good for my specific taste. I prefer the combat to the exploration and jumping. Apparently, there is somebody out there who likes Uncharted climbing. Because they, they wouldn't keep putting it in stuff if somebody didn't like it. So someone out there likes that part. 
If you like that part, please tell me in the comments. Zipline takedown, zipline takedown. He moved out of the way, you piece of crap. Don't move out of the way for my freaking zipline kill. I just wanted one gosh darn zipline kill in this game and I couldn't even have that. <laughs> the can of beans actually staggered him. Get hit by the can of beans. Oh no, not beans. Oh, why does that hurt him? Why do the juggernauts get hurt by a can of beans? That's hilarious. He was like, ow, come on. You can't blame yourself anymore. We all make our own choices. Just like I choose to skip your emotional death cutscene. I thought he died. Maybe he didn't die. Maybe they gotta keep him around because he's like the only continuous character. Oh, this guy's fine now. So does anyone even get hurt in this game? Everyone in this conversation has been like leaning against the wall, bleeding out, going, Ugh, uh, but they're all fine. Don't worry, I put some chalk on him. Chalk will heal him. I'm kind of like Aragorn in the medicine chapter where he goes to the temple and heals everybody with leaves. That chapter is really boring in Return to the King, but he does have medical powers. Receive. Plans run a foul pack. Go to the marketplace to redeem. Whoa, I got a new loot crate. Halt the entire game. We have a new loot crate to unbox. Dude, I got Endless Magazine, Bow Sniper, and Remnant Jacket Adventurer. Is this actual platforming? Is this actual timing-based platforming in my Tomb Raider game? I'm pretty impressed. Ancient abilities. Quickly shoot two arrows. That's, that's an ancient ability. I uncovered the ancient magic of the Byzantines. They were pretty good archers, it turns out. They can shoot two arrows in pretty quick succession. Nothing crazy, but you know, is all right. When is Lara Croft or Uncharted guy gonna fight Cthulhu? Like, wouldn't it be cool if you're playing one of these games and instead of just like, oh, the ancient warriors, oh, what if you had to fight mind flayers? That'd be awesome. Like instead, instead of being like, oh, it's the Byzantine empire, it's like the mountains of madness aliens. The ending is you have to run away from a Shoggoth. If I had 20 bucks for every time Laura Croft emerged slowly from a cave to see a beautiful vista, I'd have a trillion dollars from this game alone. Use arrows to make your own path up the straight line that has no possible options. Oh boy, my very own path. I made this path myself. No other gamer has this exact straight line I have. What a good use of 12 seconds of my life. Don't fall, oh my God. Look out for the T-posing bad guys, Laura. Oh, don't worry, they got killed by a boulder. That was a close call. They were emanating a lot of raw power. <laughs> How did that guy die? Hang on, hang on. What killed that guy? Can we get a replay on that guy? He died of fear. The zombie guy was like, climbing section. And he was like, oh, and had a heart attack. At last, the final boss arena. Is the final boss going to be a helicopter? Oh, yep. The, fi the final boss is going to be a helicopter. Gotta love the classics. Die, helicopter. Yeah, take that. Burr, I'm back and I'm angry you shot me before. You won't get me again. Oh, yeah? Well, what if I hit you again? Oh, no, you got me twice. I should be fine, though, as long as you don't get me three times. Oh, no. I can't believe I got hit three times. Don't go crashing to the top of the tower. Ah. Now I got to go fight him. He definitely survived, right? He's going to crawl around and be like, no, it can't end like this. Hey, Constantine with a K, are you dead? Did you die in that helicopter? Nah, he's still alive. Ah, he got me. I'm going to hit Y on this guy so hard. Hey, bad guy, get stabbed. Oh, <laughs> that didn't work very well. Well, it was a drop assassination, but I'm the one who got assassinated. Tomb Raider, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. Good job, Laura. Hit Y on him really hard. There you go, now he's dead. No more being a bad guy for you. Don't you walk away from me. Shoot him. Wait. Shoot him. Your father. No. I don't care. You're lying. I don't care, just kill him. There we go. <laughs> Stealth kill. <laughs> That was not a stealth kill. This is a very valuable ancient artifact of eternal life. I better not drop it on my foot. Oh, whoops. Come on, Laura. We got to leave the mansion behind. We got to go do Shadow of the Tomb Raider now. Nobody even remembers that one got made. Rise of the Tomb Raider. This game was slightly worse than the first one because it had less combat and more climbing. But otherwise, it's basically the same game. This one had snow in it, though. It was more of a snow-based game. Whatever. It's a very whatever game. Yeah, 7, 8 out of 10. Whatever. It's fine. Oh, hang on. There's a post credit scene two weeks earlier. I killed your father. You killed my father, didn't you? <laughs> she did kill the father. I was just joking. I loved him. No! Oh no, she got sniped. Who the heck sniped her? It's done. Oh, sniper sniped her. Good job, sniper. What about Croft? No. Not yet. Whoa, sequel bait. In the next one, we'll find out who sniped the mom. Oh boy.